Hey Buns, today I'm going to do a video that's been often requested of me and that's basically just going through my HUD and my UI and um, explaining my reasoning for why I have things that, where they are. I'll also show you how I have just today managed to create a job changing menu so that I don't have all these job buttons cluttering my UI. All right, so I'm just gonna auto attack this boss so you can just see how everything is set up for me. Not everything is perfect, right? There's things that may not be perfectly aligned, but this is just uh, how it works. As you can see, uh, the boss's target bar is right in the middle of my screen. Now, if you are rating, if you start to do some of the harder content, it is extremely important that you see what the boss is casting at any given time. This is the difference between life or death uh, for yourself and could mean a wipe if you're not paying attention. So you can see that's Shadow Burst. That is what this boss is casting right here. And uh, how do I do that? I get questions about that all the time. So uh, here, actually, I'll, I'll change it back to the way it looks normally. So normally you just see target bar, right? So you click on target bar. And then you click on this thing right here that says display target info independently. Click on that. And you can see that now you've got three different little doodads you can change. You, you see the HP of the boss, which I put right here, right in my face. The progress bar means the boss's cast bar. I put that right here where you just saw it. And status means like debuffs and, and stuff on on the enemy and that's really important too so that I, I like to put that right underneath the HP bar. As for the job bars I like to keep these down uh, near my action bars but I'll tell you that when I first was learning Dancer and I needed to get used to always using my dances on cooldown uh, originally I had gotten these this uh, the dances on a separate hot bar and I made this hot bar so giant you can make it bigger by pressing control home uh, on the keyboard It'll go up to 200, and in your chat log, it'll show you how big it is. I had this thing so giant right here in the middle of my screen so that I knew <laughs> whenever it was off cooldown and it was time for me to use it, kind of like a uh, like a weak aura, wannabe weak aura, right? And this actually helped me a lot when I was learning Dancer to always, always uh, be using that when it was supposed to be used, so that might be helpful for you too. Oh man, I need to put it back. <laughs> how did I play like this for so long? Okay, put it back, put it back. <laughs> Here are my buffs. As you can see, I just got a little buff on myself. These are my buffs. And uh, there's two kinds of buffs, actually. So if I eat food, I eat some food, you'll see that pop up over here. So I have that split into three groups, right? On my status info, enhancements, I have it split. You could display it as a single element, just all your buffs, right? You can see it there at the top. I prefer it split. Uh, because this is like my my very important buffs that I need to see that are on me during combat. And then long-term buffs, that's where it says status info other. That's over there, kind of out of the way. I don't really care. Like I, I know that I have food on for the next 30 minutes. And uh, enfeeblements, these are debuffs. Now you'll notice that uh, my debuffs window is at 200%. It is extremely giant. Uh, it absolutely has to be that. And it's in the middle of my screen, as central as I could get it, while still being able to see if my character has a like AOE on my salt. Uh, this is one of the things that saves my life. So this being giant and in the middle of my screen, allowing me to see if I have, you know, acceleration bomb on myself or some other horrible <laughs> debuff. And that and the, uh, you know, like I said, the boss's cast bar being in the middle of my screen, those are things that are actually life-saving changes uh, to my UI and that um, I really do recommend that you do. Another thing that I want to mention is up here, uh, my my time, you can see yours your time, local time and server time. I've had some people ask me how I changed to that. Well, you just go to character configuration. Go to UI settings, HUD, and you can change it so that the clock type, it shows all three times. You can just check these. You can also put your world name on there if you want to. Uh, there's a lot of other, um, you know, options in here that you can use, like uh, changing your flying text uh, to maximum. So like whenever you are, let's, uh, let's go find an enemy. My numbers. I try to make them as giant as possible. Honestly, if they could be even more giant, that would be great. But this is as big as they will go. 
pop-up text is like the damage text that appears from other players, like damage sources that are not you, like your chocobo. Uh, so you can see here it's at standard, but if I want to make it maximum, you'll see those numbers get bigger. So that's maximum from pop-up text, and there's standard. Standard, maximum, just so you can see that. Uh, but I, I prefer everything at maximum. The bigger, the better. Bigger is better. <laughs> Uh, other things here uh, you can turn on and off depending on if you want those things. A lot of those are self-explanatory, so don't need to really go into all that. Your enemy list is going to be fairly important, especially if you're tanking, uh, to be in a place where you're comfortable um, looking at it. It's red. This means I have the aggro on them. So this is a really important way uh, as a tank to make sure that you have aggro on everything. Uh, it's, it's yellow. It means that I'm losing aggro on that. And now I've lost aggro, it's going straight to the chocobo. Uh, I, I know this probably, yeah, now I've completely lost aggro. The chocobo has it. This is, uh, this might seem obvious to some of y'all who've been tanking for a while, but I can't, I tanked for an embarrassingly long time without knowing that. <laughs> so I just thought that, uh, you know, you can click on things here too. Sometimes it's just easier to select enemies straight from the enemy list as well. So yeah, put that somewhere handy. If I swap to my Dark Knight, you'll see I've changed the appearance of the job gauges. Um, so if you don't like the edgy look <laughs> of the uh, Dark Knight gauge, for example, you can go here, click on it, um, and click on where it says switch job gauge to simple mode. So here's the not simple mode. It's, you know, this edgy helmet. You can change it uh, just being a nice, sleek looking gauge. And that's available for every job gauge in the game. Another quick thing that I should mention just about my interface is the inventory, which I have set to expanded. I know some people prefer it to open all like that. Um, maybe I could get used to that. Actually, maybe I'll, maybe I'll try that out for a little while. Now I want to show you how I cleaned up my jobs by just using a menu to uh, creating a little menu to switch jobs with. I learned how to do this from a guide that was posted on Reddit by Garnet Divine. Thank you so much for creating this guide. I'll now uh, try to walk you through how I did this. Having done this successfully on my main, I will now do it once again on my alt just to demonstrate how this works. So as you can see, uh, here are all of my job buttons cluttering up my screen. Now, if you are, don't know, even know how to make the job button, you go to your gear set list and you grab the job and you just drag it down to the bar. One other thing I forgot to mention earlier is changing the transparency. I had my crafter bar set to be more transparent for some reason, and I have no idea why. So we're gonna change it back. So uh, we are going to create a menu to use for switching the jobs, and it's gonna look much nicer. It's gonna be very cool. <laughs> so. Uh, I will look and see which bars are currently holding all my jobs. And this will have to be shared bars. When you go to hotbar settings and character configuration, and go to sharing of my hotbars, only one, two, three, and six are not shared among all my jobs. These hotbars that hold my jobs are four, 10, and eight. This means that they're always gonna be there uh, no matter what job that I'm on because they are shared. And so it's important that the job, the hot bars that have all your jobs on them are shared. So I'm going to, these are four, 10 and eight. So I'm going to go to three. This is a layout three that I'm going to use for the menu. If you already are using your other layout slots, then this might not work for you. Unfortunately, we have a woefully few HUD, HUD layout slots. So I'm going to go to set this up really quick. So here's how the menu will look. Uh, obviously this can be refined to be a little bit less ugly, but you get the point. Now I'll go back to HUD layout one and I'm going to create a macro that says menu HUD layout three, because that's my menu layout, layout three. Now I'm gonna put this button on a shared hot bar and set a key bind on it. I'm gonna do F6, put a pretty icon on it. Okay, so now 
Uh, when I press this, it's going to take me to my menu, but I need a way to go back, right? And so to go back, uh, there's two ways you can do this, and it's going to be up to your preference. One way is you can make another macro that is like a go back button, and it can just say HUD layout uh, one, you know, your main layout, put it on any you know, shared hotbar that you want to put it on, and then you can just go back to your main layout. Simple as that, right? So you can go, switch, and go back. Another way to do it uh, that I think is kind of cooler, <laughs> a more uh, elegant way, but it will take up a lot more slots, is you, you take one of these jobs, bread, <laughs> Bart is what I mean. Gear set, for the gear set change number, I need to just um, check and see. Just go to character, check for bard. Bard is number two, so I'm gonna put gear set change two. And I'm gonna drag this to bard. And it will then change it. So it's gonna, what it's gonna do is change my gear set and change my layout at the same time. So this is a, gonna function like a go back. Isn't it cool? That's it. It's it's so simple and great. I uh, I love it. The only thing, like I said, the only thing with uh, making it so every job change will take you straight back is um, instead of you know just pressing a go back button, is it'll take up a lot of macro slots and that might. I don't really do a lot of crafting, so I guess I don't need a lot of different macros. But um, yeah, that's gonna be up to your preference. Now after setting up that menu, I can just go back and remove the bars that were here before and keep anything here that I want to. I mean, honestly, I might get so cozy with the menu. I just put all of my menu buttons and stuff on that, that separate screen because it's so cool. Uh, but for now, it's much, much improved. I hope that by showing you my UI and my HUD, maybe you've got some new ideas for how to make your HUD more comfortable and more easy to you know, see job mechanics and debuffs and that sort of thing. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon or on Twitch. You can also support the channel for free by clicking the subscribe button or by sharing this video with your fellow warriors of darkness. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.